you understand? Does this make sense? If you, your attention is on your thoughts all the time, then you have to suffer. You don't have a choice because your mind is going to be crazy. Your mind is not going to be kind to you. It will be a horrible slave master. It will take you to all kinds of dark places. What's going to happen to me? What's going to happen tomorrow? What's going to happen to the world? What's going to happen to the economy? Am I going to die from COVID? Is everyone going to die from COVID? What's is when is when is life going to go back to normal? When are we going to be able to do this or that? The mind is going to go to all kinds of dark places. Because the theme, which is in the air, is a dark theme. You're watching a horror movie. It's not a loving comedy. It's a horror movie that your, your attention goes on a horror movie. It's Friday the 13th. And Godzilla is coming to take care of you. So what I'm suggesting is if you can bring your attention inwards towards the source of your thoughts, where do they come from? Before they arise, what's there? As you put your attention in that direction, all of a sudden, you are quiet. And you begin to feel the bliss. You begin to experience what you have been born with. It's your natural birthright. You were born in this moment. And your being resides here in this moment. So when your attention goes into inner silence and you start paying attention, peace, joy, love appears in your life. Your mind becomes quiet and your heart opens up and you feel the presence. You tap into the holiness, the juice, the unified field of the oneness, of harmony, of love here in this moment because that's where it exists. It's not in the future life. It's not in the past lives. It's not in another civilization. It's not in Atlantis or Lumeria or somewhere else. The kingdom of heaven is here. But, not, but very few people are able to be here. That's why there's a story sold to you and the story was that if you're a good girl and you do everything or a good boy and you do everything right, when you die, you're gonna go to heaven. You're gonna go to Valhalla as the Vikings called it. You're gonna go to heaven where everything is rosy. And if you're not a good boy, you're not a good girl, and you haven't done the right things, you've been a bad person, and then you go to hell. You're going to be suffering for the eternity. That was a story that has been sold to us in past 2,000 years, 2,500 years, whatever years. And 
It's a story. Now I'm going to tell you another story. Tell me what do you think about this one? When you die, you're going to go to this chamber, this place. And this place is that all the angels are there. You're going through light, you go through a tunnel, you arrive at this place, and it's all an angelic realm. And in this angelic realm, you have you, re you reunite with all the people you knew that died before you. And then, according to where you're at, if you need any more purification, then you come back and reincarnate in this world, physical world, and you live another life. How's that story? Which story do you like better? You like the first story or the second story? The second story? The second story sounds better, doesn't it? Okay. Now, let's have another story. How's that? Can we add another story to this? Do you think we can add, we can have another version? Yeah. Can someone come up with a new one? Okay. There's another story. When you die and you go to this other place, this holding area, then you need to meet and come across all of your ancestors. And you have to sort of pay for their deeds. If they did something really bad, now you have to go encounter them. Because in this new chamber, God wants you to clear all your ancestry karma. So you're going to go have to pay for them. And once you clear that up, then you're allowed from there to go into this other place that you have to do another series of things. So anyway, I'm just making this up, by the way. But this story keeps going and going and going. And this is the stories that we play in our head. We play different stories and a lot of different script, spiritual scriptures or practices, they have a story for you about what's going to happen after you die, or where you're going to go, you're going to come back, or you're not, or maybe after you die, because you evolved, you're allowed to go to another class of civilization, and maybe you go and have another life as in the ethereal world, you don't come up with a physical body. Maybe you go to this other dimension that everybody's 10 feet tall and they're made out of light. And they body, they don't have a body, so they never get sick. Whatever it is, there's all kinds of different things. I personally enjoy here right now. Personally, I would not exchange here with anything else. With any kind of promissory note of future or another time or anything else. Because I somehow through the grace came to understand that the kingdom of heaven and the hell simultaneously existing here in this world, in this life. 